if you want an adventure when going to a restaurant in Rome, it is surely that. Just make sure you really know what you want to order. Don't let them bully you into ordering something you don't want. Just have a good time. Bellissimo is the same in Italy. Grazie mille. Grazie. A boy. Cheers. Hello, friends. We are Wanderers in Black. We like to travel and discover unique and unusual places and have fun along the way. Life is short, so let's seize the moment. Join us for a wonder at our next destination. Alright friends, are you ready for day 2 in Rome? Let's get into it. Yes, we are up nice and early again. And not only so we can seize the whole day, but also to be out and about before it gets too hot. As we are located in the middle of the old town, we are walking distance from all the major attractions. By the way, the cobble street stones are punishing if you don't have the right footwear. We were wearing boots and it only took a full day of walking before we bought something more practical to wear. We continued a walk through the city, and yes, the heat was setting in. It was definitely time for the next drinks. We were thirsty and peckish and didn't do our review research before sitting down. Hello friends, so we googled the place to go and have early dinner at, which was back that way, but we walked past this place and it seemed to attract us. We sat down and ordered a couple of pasta dishes and a bottle of Chardonnay. We quickly googled this place and there's some reviews that we'll reveal later, but let's see what happens in the meantime. From Rome, this is Wanderers in Black. We broke our own cardinal rule by not checking the reviews first. So now, it was time to be vigilant. So friends, that was absolutely delicious. Even better than the first pasta we had when we first arrived here. Extremely tasty. The Chardonnay is really, really nice and cold. Now we will see what's going to happen with the bill. I asked for the bill while walking in. Looking inside, there was another level below, which is quite typical for these European restaurants. So how was the food at a one-star Google review restaurant? I thought it was really nice. A typical Italian restaurant in Rome, I picture this feisty waiters with the really nice Chardonnay. So we asked for the bill and it has taken a while. We were not in a hurry, but did have to ask for the bill again. So the overall experience here? And yeah, look, it was pretty nice. Uh, what can you say? When in Rome? Anyhow, we continued our walk through the old town, gazing upon the historic wonders and taking in the holiday ambience that was all around us. But it was our next destination that was certainly a sight to behold. Hello friends, so here we are. This is the location of Torre Argentina. And here, many, many years ago, Caesar, Julius, was assassinated in this location. These days, you can purchase a ticket and have a walk down. This was supposed to close at six o'clock. We got here at three minutes too, but they said it was too late. We tried to argue, the young gentleman at the till would still not let us in. But you can still see how grandiose the ruins are. Very historical spot. Wonders in black, in Rome.
as we were walking around, we noticed a sign mentioning not to feed the cats. Maybe Julius loved this feline four-legged friends. Hence, they come here to hang out. Oh, it's pretty warm in Rome. <laughs> so that was fun. Now we're going to go to a balcony where Mussolini used to make his speeches and where he declared war on France and England. Let's check it out. So, when I think of Grandiosa, I'm going to think of Rome because seriously, to be right in front of this is truly a sight to behold. I wonder what this is. <laughs> All right, where those flags are, this little balcony, that's where Benito Mussolini gave his fascistic speeches. This is the balcony where he declared war on France and Britain. We found the restaurant Hedera just around the corner from the Victor Emmanuel II monument and after a quick Google review search, we decided to get a table. We ordered pizza for the first time in Rome and how were they? Here we go, four cheese pizza. Tasty. After being on our feet most of the day, it was really good to sit down and unwind but I wanted to see what the restaurant was like inside. So I went for a little wonder and found this. All right, friends, so what I noticed being in Rome for a couple of days now is that every time you go and eat somewhere, it's a bit of a challenge because you got to get the right prices for what you ordered. you got to make sure that they don't give you something you don't really want that is overpriced. With this place, we wanted a steak and then they mentioned that the price on the menu was different to what he had in his phone. They mentioned that the price on the menu was different to what he had in his phone, so I had to order a steak and then the chips on top and then the mushrooms on top which came up to like 40 or so euros I just said you know what I'll just have a pizza so far the pizza in Rome is okay but the pastas have been amazing this place has got a really good vibe we've got a really good table right at the end here the Merlot is pretty good just make sure you really know what you want to order don't let them bully you into ordering something you don't want just have a good time bellissimo is the same in Italy grazie mille grazie and after a tasty and somewhat adventurous dinner, it was time for some more sightseeing. This is Il Facino and it represents humble water gatherer that used to gather water from the Tiber River, bring it into the city and sell it to the inhabitants. This here statue was actually vandalized for centuries because it resembled Luther, which is a big no-no.
As mentioned in the previous episode, if you want to avoid large crowds at the Trivi Fountain, it's best to come here early in the morning or late at night. We prefer to wander later in the evening, when it's not so hot either. What an amazing second day in Rome, but tomorrow was another day with still so much more to do and see. Thank you for watching friends and please join us again for the next episode as we continue our journey of discovery in Rome. See you soon. Cheers. Feisty waiters with a really nice Chandonnet.